Hello, <laughs> my YouTube merch is in the house. It's freezing and I probably shouldn't be doing this outdoors, but if you've ever wondered how does print on demand merchandise from Redbubble arrive, what does it look like and how is it packaged, then this is the video for you and possibly this could be the mug for you. I've got a steak knife. So let's, uh, I've got a second camera going over here. This is, this is what the package looks like. You can probably guess what this is. <laughs> a little clue on the outside there. I've also ordered a hooded top. So I'll probably be, well, I'll definitely be showing that on the channel when that arrives. So if I undo this tape here and this lid opens, thank you for supporting independent artists. It's nice. Hint, there's a link in the description for this. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. So I've ordered a few things, but it looks like it's just going to be the mug. Nice cardboard origami there. Wow. Oh my word, that is lovely. That is beautiful. This is what it looks like. You might be seeing this quite a lot on the channel in the future. If you've seen my podcast, the Great British YouTubers podcast, there's a link in the description and on screen now. I actually designed a, a logo by the bolting together, the, the Frankenstein bolting together of these two icons, which guide so much in our lives. And what I did with the design was I've used the actual photo well, I was going to say photorealistic, but it's actually a photo of, of a flag because I, I like the texture of it. But I don't know if it looks like a printing error, <laughs> like it's gone a bit wonky, but I, I, I do like the texture of it. I like the, the photorealism of the Union Jack there. It's a standard mug. It holds a standard uh, amount of British beverage. And because it's print on demand, you can have this wherever you are in the world. I think if you click on the link in the description, it will show you the local prices and it, they print it and deliver it locally wherever you are in the world. And, oh, it started raining. I'm, I need a hooded, hooded top for this. Now the only downside with designing mugs on Redbubble is that I actually wanted a black mug. I wanted a black design and you only get white and you, you can cover it in a colour, which is what I've done. I've set this as a background colour. This is supposed to be black and it's kind of come out as a olive green. You can set any price you want. There's like a base price and then you can add a percentage for the sale price and you get to keep that margin that is added to the, the base price. The shipping isn't cheap and I suspect that goes towards not me. <laughs> I'm not saying the margins are low, but I think I would need to sell about 13 of these to pay for this one that I've bought. <laughs> so if you do buy one, I really appreciate it. You will be contributing to this very mug if you buy this mug. And there's some other products here as well. I've, I've put the design onto some t-shirts, a zipper hoodie, which is on its way soon. That'll be a, in a video very soon. I've even got some phone covers and, and a cushion. I should get a cushion really, shouldn't I? I like the look of this cushion, but I am quite attached to my Rootmaster bus cushion in the happy heart. There's some uh, instructions here. It says that the mug is, it's ceramic and it's dishwasher safe and microwave safe. But yeah, so this is my first Great British YouTuber's mug. I was gonna have words saying Great British YouTuber on there, but I thought that might be a bit much. I think British YouTubers are probably a bit more understated. So I've just gone for the logo. This is what it looks like on camera. This is the first time that I'm seeing this on camera. So the only way that I'd improve this is by actually ordering a mug from somewhere that designs the actual mug being a, another colour. There are other websites too which I'm trying out. There's, there's Teespring, which I think is called Spring now. But do you have any recommendations? Is there anywhere that you're looking into for, for buying prints on demand merch? I'd love to hear from you. Put a, a link in the description. The thing that I'm really after at the moment, I don't want to put this down. The thing I'm really after at the moment is a knitted hat with this logo embroidered on the on the rim there so if you have any recommendations for print on demand embroidered logo hats i know it's a very specific request there's <laughs> someone out there one of you must know and if you'd like to buy this very mug uh, the margin isn't that great <laughs> <laughs> so not much money is going to come to me. But if you want a snazzy Great British YouTuber mug, the link is in the description now. And I'll also link to any other videos where I design some merch and go through the process with you. So thanks in advance for any support. And right here is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. I, I need to go in now and put something hot in this because I'm, I'm quite cold. <laughs>